Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Amir Views here. Hey, we back with another video, man. We back with another banger. We back to open the mind. As you can see, we back in the setup, man. I know I've been doing outside videos. I know I've been doing videos in other places in my room, but I was like, let me get back to the basics. I downloaded OBS on my computer, so hopefully it can run my streams. If not, RIP streaming until I get a, a better PC. You know what I mean? But we recording, we back on the setup. Here's a good video, man. Today's a good video. We are gonna be reviewing one of the laws in Robert Greene's The 48 Laws of Power, guys. If you guys don't know what this book is, it's one of the most popular books of all time, to be honest. Um, but not only is it popular, it's actually a good book. You know, most books nowadays are just popular. But this, this book is actually really, really good. And I've, I've been reading, been getting back into my reading. Uh, I'm at Law 24 right now. And there was a few laws that I wrote down in my notes that I wanted to make videos about. Today we're gonna be talking about Law 22, right? Law 22, and the name of Law 22 is Use the Surrender Tactic, Transform Weakness into Power. Now we're gonna get into that. And what I mean by that, I'm gonna take a little bit of, um, I'm gonna take the keys to power, this little paragraph right here, and we're gonna make that video. That's what the video is gonna be about. Before we get into this video, hit the subscribe button, man. It's free. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. So hit the subscribe button, man. If you love life, if you love reading, if you love knowledge, if you just just love living, hit the subscribe button, man. You know what I'm saying? But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'm gonna read the keys to power and I'm gonna break it down in my opinion, what what that means and how what what he is saying in this part of the book can get a lot of people in trouble in any facets of life right? whether it's business relationships communications um you know handling tough times in your in your life you know handling situations in your life it can save you a lot it save you a lot you know what i'm saying so without further ado let's get right into it so the keys to power y'all if you are if you are or if you do want to read this part of the book it is, like I said, Law 22, and it's page 167, and it will say the keys to power right here. Right here. Keys to power right here. So I'm going to read it off. If I'm looking here, it's because my screen's here, but my camera's here. But let's read it off. I'm going to read it off a little bit, and then we're going to break it down. Keys to power. All right, now I'm about to start reading. What gets us in trouble, what gets, mm, look at that, look at that. What gets us into trouble in the realm of power is often our overreaction to the moves of our enemies and rivals. Now, off the rip, off, let me read that again. Let me read that again. What gets us into trouble in the realm of power is often our overreaction to the moves of our enemies and rivals. Now, off the rip, you guys can probably think of a time you will overreact to the situation. We've all been there. We've all overreacted to a situation where we didn't need to overreact. Where somebody says something to us like, bro, you lame. And you start spazzing out, losing your composure, losing your temper. And now they lost all respect for you, bro. You lost all the power. You know what I'm saying? You in a negotiation and somebody says something you don't like. And now you're like, oh, I don't want to do that. This is that a third. You just lost out on a great business deal, right? A girl, oh my God. It's fly, bro. A girl might have said, oh, oh, uh, this is that and the third to you, you know what I'm saying? Just say some crazy stuff to you. And you overreacted, right? You overreacted. You 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 saw her with another dude or whatever, and you spazzing out, you crying, you yelling at the dude, you wanna fight him, you calling the girl out her name. Stay under control, bro. That's what I had to learn. Stay under control, stay under control. So that part is perfect right there. So we're gonna get into the next sentence. <clears throat> That overreaction creates prob no. That overreaction creates problems we have we would have avoided, right? Had we been responsible. Let me read that one more time. That overreaction creates problems that we would have avoided if we have been more responsible. So, like I said, I'm gonna give you a scenario, man. I'm gonna give you a scenario. Say you're a professor, right? You in college. Say you're a professor, right? They're like, yo, whatever your name is, I'm just gonna say my name. Yo, Amir, listen, you know, you're slacking off, bro. You know, you're, you're not showing up to class. And when you are in class, you're not paying attention. Your grade is dropping. Like, what are you doing? You, you need to be better. This is that and the third, right? He calling me out, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 he calling me out, doing whatever you gotta do because he like, yo, you're not putting the work in, right? Now, there's two ways I can react to that. I can I can overreact and I'll be like, I can be like, well, uh, 
this is out of third. I didn't. I don't even like this class. Uh, I don't even want. I didn't even want to go to college. My mom made me do it, and you know, I just got so much going on. And it's just like, oh my god, what? Like, what are you talking about? I literally put the work in. Like, you're just. You, it's just so many students. You can't recognize what I'm doing. This is out of third. Like, you see how that? Now, if you were my professor and I came to you like that, how would you? How would you think? Like, all right, this dude. He, I'm not listening to what he's saying, right? Instead, I can hit him with the. You know what? Professor, blah blah blah. You right, man. You right. I've been slacking off. There's a lot going on in my life, but I'm I'm gonna get that right. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't bleed my personal life into my business or my work or whatever it is. And you tell them, you like give them that reassurance, like you know, I'm gonna work hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not trying to slack off or anything. It's nothing against your class. It's not against how you teach. This is not third. It's just I got some personal stuff going on, but I'm gonna I'm gonna separate that from when I get into this classroom, or I'm gonna separate that when I get into the gym, or I'm gonna separate that when I go into the when I come and clock into the job, or whatever it is, man. That person you're communicating with will respect you ten times, a hundred times more than you overreacting, start spazzing out. This is not third. You broke it down to him. You told him. You told her what's going on, and he was like, "Oh, listen, boom, boom, boom." And that's what he's saying. That overreaction creates problems we would have avoided if we'd been more responsible, more responsible with our mind. We would have been more responsible with our mind, man. Let's continue. It also has an endless rebound effect for the enemy then overreacts as well. <laughs> Let me read that one more time. It also has an endless rebound effect for the enemy then overreacts as well. So... This is human nature. If somebody comes to you or somebody did something to you and you ain't like it and you overreact, you out of control, you ain't, you're not in control of your well-being, your mind, your thoughts, your emotions, then that person is going to overreact and he's not going to or she's not going to be in control of her uh, well-being, her mind, her emotions. And then what does that lead to? That just that keeps me boiling and boiling up and that can be dangerous, man. You could be arguing with a dude on the street. My dad always tells me, if, you, if you're arguing, if you're arguing arguing with someone more than a minute especially if you're a man and you're arguing with a man more than a minute you don't you don't respect each other and that can end really badly man it can end dangerously you don't know you could put yourself in a situation where somebody gets hurt you get thrown in jail it's crazy man y'all think i'm overreacting no this is real life i see it all the time bro people overreact to situations and now they just threw away their life because they over overreacted to a situation so that's what he means by, by it also has an endless rebound effect for the enemy then overreacts as well. You feel what I'm saying? It's like when a dog starts barking and a dog hears that, they start barking. And now the dogs are barking and now it's all chaos. And now the owner's like, oh my God, come here, Bobby, come here, little dog. And now it's just a crazy just event that should have been avoided. That could have been avoided if that other dog just minded business. I'm obviously using dogs. Like, that's not how they work. But... Same thing with humans, man. If you if you like if you catch your girl cheating, you walk in. You just... but I know, I know it's easier said than done, bro. But keep it cool. Be like, all right, you get out, you get out. Especially if they in your crib, that's crazy. But if you out and about, you see your girl cheating, you go out to her. You be like, you don't. Need, you, I see so many dudes do be like, this is what we doing now. This is what we doing now. Keisha, all the money I spent on you. <laughs> and now they want to fight the dude. I never got that. I never understood why when dudes catch their girl cheating, they want to fight the dude. Bro, nine times out of ten, that dude did not know she had a boyfriend. She did not know that. Go at, go get at your girl. And not even get at your girl. Be like, oh, that's what we doing. All right, cool. You single. You know what I'm saying? Block on everything. You good. Keep pushing. It's going to hurt. But that is a better reaction than doing all that. And now you you doing something you might regret. You might you might slap her. You might push her. She might get a bruise. And now you now you got a domestic violence charge. And now your whole life is tarnished, bro. For the rest of your life, you have that charge on your record. You hit a woman. You stabbed a dude. It, it, can, it, it listen. It's it's crazy how this domino effect can go down. So I'm gonna read the the, the line again. Um, it's more to it, but those are just like the those are like the three sentences that really resonated with me. If you guys read the the rest of the law, you would get it. But I'm not gonna get into that because we're not reading the whole, the whole law, right? What gets us into trouble in the realm of power is often our overreaction to the moves of our enemies and our rivals. Hmm. The overreaction creates problems we would have avoided had we been more responsible. It also has an endless rebound effect 
for the enemy then overreacts as well, man. Man, hey, Robert Green cook. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, chat. Robert Green cook. He's cooking right now, bro. Moral of the story, bro, don't overreact, bro. Don't overreact to anything. You ever heard that saying? Don't get too high, don't get too low. Just stay in the middle. If something great happened, even if something great happened, don't overreact to the point where it's like, oh, I'm, I made it. You know what I'm saying? And now you start work. Now you stop working hard. Now you stop having that mentality that got you to that place to make that first million. That got you to the place to buy your mama a crib. That got you to the place to buy your dream car. That got you to the place that, to, to, to have you travel across the world. And don't get too low. If you in a tough spot, if you in a tough spell right now in your life, you might be broke or low on funds or this, this, that, and the third. You just lost your job. Don't get too low. I know it's easier said than done, bro. But if you can control this, like I made, or like I just talked about on the over uh, overthinking video, if you can control this, you're a dangerous person, man. You can control your mind. You're good. Don't get too high. Don't get too low. Cause life is like this. Life is like a roller coaster. But what you want to do, once you hit that, you want to feel like you just right here. Once you hit there, celebrate it. Celebrate your wins. I'm not saying no celebrate your wins, but be like, all right. All right, let me keep that going. Because you get too high. Eventually, that roller coaster is going to come down, man. And when it come down, it come down fast. I was on a roller coaster a couple months, a couple weeks ago. It come down fast, and then boom. Now you just hit rock bottom. You feel what I'm saying? So I just want to break that down a little bit. If you guys like this, if you guys want me to go even more in depth, I can make like... 35 minute videos on these i just want to see if you guys liked it it's a quick little video about 12 minutes um yeah man i really resonated with me i was like yo i had to make a video on that because that little part right there is crazy man the endless rebound effect that that makes your enemy overreact as well man that's crazy keep that in the back of your mind when you're out and about and you feel like overreacting think about what what that comes with you feel what I'm saying? But that's all I got for you guys today. I love you all. Thank you for watching the video. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Stay disciplined or you will be disciplined. Turn that L into a lesson. Turn that lesson into a W. If she ain't get with the program, she can get the step. And I love you all. Stay positive. Stay safe. Until next time. Until we open the mind once again. Amir Reviews is out, baby. Burr.